Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Ray's Create Cards. I'm Ray Henderson, an independent Stamping Up demonstrator out of Morristown, Tennessee. I hope everybody's been having a good week. If you haven't heard by now, and I don't know how you couldn't have, but the 1st of October, which is tomorrow, um, is World Card Making Day. And Stamping Up is offering a free card making event um, if you live in the Eastern Time Zone, it's going to be from 4 to 6 p.m. You don't have to register, although if you do, they will be able to send you an email update, etc. Um, and you can just stamp along if you would like to, or just watch and chat. And uh, the three bundles that they are going to be featuring is a warm welcome. Cottage Rose and Cottage Wreath. Now, I also learned that there is going to be a free shipping promo announced, okay? So, I'm not sure what's going on with that or what the timing is going to be. I will find out right along with everybody else tomorrow. And something that is really exciting to me, this is right up my alley, they are going to release on the 4th of October a birthday card organizer kit, okay? Here in the U.S., it will be a cost of $25, but for that, you get an 8x10 monthly planner with a space to record monthly birthdays, and you'll have pocket sleeves to hold your cards. Uh, 12 full-size cards will come in the kit, six of two different designs, plus 12 coordinating envelopes. You get your glue dots, your dimensionals, your adhesive embellishments, your tear and tape adhesive, die cut florals and other pieces. You get sticker sentiments and die cut labels, and not only in English, but French, Dutch, and German. Um, and the colors that they are building this around, and I don't know how well you can see what I printed out. I've been having printer issues. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but it keeps losing the Wi-Fi connection. So, can you kind of see? So, basic black, evening evergreen, petal pink, Sahara sand, and soft succulent. But does that not look awesome? I haven't seen anyone sell a birthday card organizer uh, for several years now. I've got one that's really, really old. Um, it's about ready to fall apart, and I have loved using it. And so I am excited to know that I can get a replacement. So in my opinion, for $25, I think you're getting an awful lot. So stay tuned for that on October the 4th. All right, so today's card is going to be a Thanksgiving card, and uh, in order not to have an hour-long video like I did last week, I thought I would go ahead and, and pre-do everything, and we're just going to do the one card, so this video really is not going to be very long. So I am using a basic white card base. Uh, actually, this is the thick basic white, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I am featuring um, a piece of the DSP that comes out of the Bowels of Holly DSP. Y'all have probably seen that showcase in other videos. My little pack is well loved and well chopped into, but that is the pattern that we're going to use today. And I am going to feature the Aspen tree dies. Um, that is what I cut that layer out of. And here is that die. So if you cut your layer at four by five and a quarter, which is a traditional size layer, then you have got this. Isn't that awesome? It lends itself exactly to the Aspen tree cutout. I thought that was beautiful. Does all the work for you, right? And then right behind it, I am going to put a layer of early espresso. And that way there, it just kind of helps that design really show and pop. 
And did I write down how big that layer was? I did not. Let me let me measure this really quick. Basically, what I did is I kind of looked at what borders I had left on the back in order to know what size to do my layer underneath. And this is three and seven eighths by um, five and an eighth. Not five and a quarter, but five and an eighth. So there you go. Let's just go ahead and start assembling this. I don't have just everything done, but I have most of it done. And I am going to, it's going to be really important if you decide to replicate this card, it's going to be really important that you just put a thin line of glue right along the edge there. Did I get my glue mat out? No, I didn't. But I'm just going to put a thin line of glue right around the edge. And that's the only place we will need it. And done. There we go. All right. Take this and get this up. So it is about 7.30 in the morning here in Morristown, Tennessee. We've been having a lot of wind the last couple of days. I'm sure it is from Hurricane Ian and all those people are so occupying our prayers, aren't they? I mean, it's just, it's amazing to see the volume of that storm. I mean, it, it is just almost hard to, um, to imagine a storm of that size. That is just horrible. And I'm proud to say Tennessee, among other states, is um, very proactive in sending help and aid to Florida. A lot of our linemen and different people are going to be going down there to help out. All right, now I do have a piece of early espresso for the inside, and it is cut four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So I'm going to put that on there now. Yeah, it's just, it, it's amazing. Just amazing. I don't know how many people down there were prepared. <clears throat> and can you ever really be prepared for something like that? I don't know that you can. I just don't know that you can. All right, before we get to the inside and finish up the inside of the card, let's go ahead and finish decorating the outside. You've seen I've got the little kitty stamped here, and that little kitty comes from the Cheerful Basket. This card was actually inspired by someone in my life who um, lives in Colorado. They have aspen trees. And they love cats. And I thought, how perfect to put these together for a Thanksgiving card for them, okay? So, I've just simply stamped the little cat. We are going to color it real quick. And because the cat is kind of small, um, I'm, I'm not going to bother with doing a lot of shading or anything. Because if you look really close, look how awesome that's stamped. I mean, it definitely brings out all the little bits of fur and uh, dimension. Isn't that neat? I love it. So, I am using my light smoky slate and just going to take, I've had about two cups of coffee this morning. Not as much as I normally have. I usually average about three cups, but uh we're just going to color this little fella in. I don't know what to tell you, whether it's a male or a female. Um, it can be either one, right? Make it what you want. So we're just going to color him in. Okay. So yesterday, I got my two 
raised beds that I had ordered so that I can get geared up for gardening next year. I'm not sure um, exactly how I'm going to plan everything out yet. I am still working on that. I am trying to figure on um, things that I know that we're going to eat on a regular basis. I'm definitely going to have green beans going, um, corn, um, potatoes, onions, all of the regular basic things. So we'll see. Um, I actually plan on ordering more um, raised beds to get started. All right. Now, oddly enough, I picked um, the So Saffron. I didn't get the light one. This is the dark one. Let me get the light one. Let's get this one. Just to do inside the ears. Kind of a yellowish tint. But I didn't think it looked bad. And it kind of ties into the card. And you'll see that here in a minute. And then I'm taking my light balmy blue. And we're just going to give the eyes a little bit of blue. I've practiced on... Uh, using their different greens for the eye color, and I could just never get anything that looked right to me uh, for cat eyes. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So there it is, real fast, real easy. Um, could I have done some shading in there? Obviously, I could have. Does it really need it? No, it doesn't. Um, and so the Cheerful Basket also has coordinating dies, and they are called the full basket dies. And here is the outline of my little kitty. Now, you could do this card. You could use the basket. You could have the apples, just a whole host of things. And let me go ahead and point out, while I've got this open, I did use these leaves dies. No, they're not exactly a true aspen leaf, but they were more the size that I wanted for this card, and I'll show you that too here in a minute. So, let me go and die cut this just very quickly. Okay, guys. Got to make sure it's even, 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 and make sure it cuts evenly all the way around if I can get it to. All right, I think I'm lined up pretty good. Let's whip this through. And let's see how I did here. Okay, pretty even in the white margin all the way around. I may have a little bit more up here and a little bit more on that side, but it's good. It's good. We're going to go with that, and I'm going to get my die safely back in here, and all right. There's only one other die that I am going to use on this card, and that is going to be the smallest of the deckled rectangle dies, and I use that for my sentiment on the front of the card. Now, I did not order that cute little pheasant set that we have in our mini catalog. Um, I didn't order it because really the only thing I would want out of that set, I'm just not into pheasants. I mean, I'm not. Um, a lot of people would be, I'm just not one of them. But they had a very, very pretty Happy Thanksgiving. Now, I've got one in my collection that I have used for several years now, and it's not stamping up. It's just a really old wooden stamp, and I believe this was given to me by my neighbor, oh, probably about three years ago, and I love it. I love the font, and so that is the happy Thanksgiving that I am going to put on the front of the card. Um, and I apologize, guys, but most of us have Happy Thanksgiving in our collection, right? Now, before I can put the little kitty cat down, I need to get my 
die cuts of leaves, and they were die cut out of So Saffron, okay, which is one of the reasons why I put So Saffron in his ears. Um, if you want to use pink, by all means use pink. I just wasn't satisfied <laughs> with the tone that I was coming up with for that. So we're going to put down this little leaf down here in the bottom corner, the bottom right corner. Doesn't need a ton of glue. And I'm just going to kind of tilt it a little bit where it's coming up like so. Make sure that's down well. And then I'm going to take my kitty cat. Yes, I have more leaves here. That's not going to be the only leaf on the card. I promise. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, little kitty kitty is getting ready for his new home. Okay. And we're just going to plop him down right there. Other than just putting him really close to the bottom, I didn't really have a way to ground him by coloring ground under him or anything. So, there he is. And let's take another of the big ones. Um, there is, whoops, yeah, uh, some of my little embellishments, <laughs> oh, there it goes, have been uh, making themselves known. And I don't want to throw them away. I'll actually put glue on the back of that one and, and reuse it somewhere. Somewhere. All right. Let's take and put a little bit more leaves going here. Let's see. Let's go down eh, somewhere around there where it kind of looks like it's falling. Okay. We've got one there. Let's put another big one, maybe, and if I didn't tell you guys, this is so saffron. Um, sometimes I get so caught up in what I'm doing that I may not always tell you sizes and dimensions. Okay, so he's watching those leaves come down. Let's take a small one and put up there. And just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. And right about there. Now, these aren't actually supposed to represent being attached to the tree. Um, they're actually just uh, falling leaves. And I don't know how well I represent that on this card, but I hope I did. All right. And let's put another one down here already on the ground. There we go. All right. So far, so good. And let's go ahead and put our Happy Thanksgiving on there. I'm not going to pop it up with dimensionals because I know I'm going to be mailing this card. Um, and, you know, postage rates have just, I mean, they went up again, didn't they? Oh, my heavens. So, um, I don't mind sometimes getting that extra ounce stamp and putting that on my, uh, postage. But if I don't have to, I'm not going to, right? All right, what do you think, guys? There is the front of the card. And now let's finish off the inside of the card. And again, this is not something from Stamping Up, but because I do the card ministry at church, I have gathered quite a collection of uh, scripture stamps. And so on the inside of mine, I am using that verse out of Psalms. I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. How perfect for a thanksgiving card, right? And again, it's just an older wooden stamp that I have here. I don't know if you could do a search and find it. Again, these were things that were given to me some time back, and uh, I'm, I'm just not sure of their availability. 
However, this card doesn't have to be a Thanksgiving card. Absolutely, it could be a fall birthday card. Um, yeah, or just a thinking of you card. So, whatever kind of things you have, that's what you use, right? Okay. Let me get this down here where I can kind of see what I'm doing and lay that in. Now, my white layer with the uh, sentiment on there is four by five and a quarter okay all right and that is it guys how easy and quick was that to put together um would you mass produce this particular card yeah probably not because you've got your die cutting and your die cutting and your die cutting of your leaves i will point out that in the in these um full basket dies so let me show you so the big leaf the bigger leaf i used on the card you can actually cut two at a time and on the small leaves you get four and then they have two leaves that are even tinier but i didn't elect to use those and one of my thoughts as you can kind of see here i cut out some of that foliage with one of those dies and i had thought about maybe trying to tuck it in behind the uh the trees as though you know there was still something going on and i decided that for this particular card it was going to be too busy um and i did let me get a hold of it with my tweezers this is one of the little tiny leaves that it cuts out isn't that tiny that's just like super super tiny and those could have been used and they would have been really cute but uh, this is just how I designed my particular card. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Yes, I've used um, three different uh, die sets to make this card, but start looking around your stamp room. Look at what you got. See what you can maybe combine together that you may have never thought about. You know, just pick out two or three sets that maybe, maybe they're all kind of a fall themed. Um, because the cheerful basket definitely can have a very uh, fall theme to it, especially with that little basket to hold your little harvest in of apples. Um, it is that time of the year for apples. So um, start thinking and, and kind of think outside the box. And if you haven't picked up that uh, Holly Bowles DSP, it works so well with making Christmas cards, and in this case, a fall card as well. Um, you may remember one of those cards that we did last week, one of those uh, Christmas cards, and it was simply a piece of DSP down with uh, the leaves uh, cut out, and uh, it, it made a really cute Christmas card. If you missed that video, go back and watch it from last week. And as always, guys, Thank you so much for giving me a thumbs up, for subscribing, for leaving your comments. I am love, love, loving it. You just don't know. It does my heart really good. Um, and I, I thank you. And I pray for you that you are richly blessed in return. Until we meet again, guys, stay safe. God bless and know that you are loved. Bye.